please uh, go ahead. Thanks. I'm Alam Ayew. I'm presenting work that uh, has been going on uh, with my colleagues uh, Tongi Bernard, Stefan Dracon, Katolkin, and uh, uh, myself. This is part of a, a, a larger research agenda that focuses on the uh, measurement, formation, and impact of uh, uh, aspirations. This is specifically related to uh, Ethiopia. Now I'll start with a summary. So I'll give you the results, and then uh, if somebody wants to leave, they can. So the basic question we like to answer is, uh, poor people underinvest. If they underinvest, that means they stay poor. Do their aspirations matter in this outcome? That's the basic question we'd like to uh, answer. And uh, in order to uh, get to answers, we adopted a strategy of uh, assigning uh, uh, randomly selected households in Ethiopia from randomly selected villages to a treatment. This treatment is roughly an hour uh, documentary of uh, relatively successful uh, farmers or village residents that these uh, randomly selected households may uh, uh, identify with. It does not involve any other uh, uh, treatment. That means only aspirations are uh, 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 to affected rather than their uh, material outcomes. And we have a uh, very good balance at baseline in terms of different characteristics, including aspirations of themselves. Key findings, uh, we have measured uh, aspirations at the baseline as usual, and then right after the treatment, as well as six months after the, uh, uh, six months after, uh, the treatment. And we uh, <coughs> identify some improvement in uh, aspirations of uh, those treated. We also uh, observe some change in uh, 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 psychosocial characteristics such as locus of control, uh, perception about poverty and so on, uh, but uh, no impact on the usual uh, uh, characteristics that economists focus on, namely risk preference, uh, risk and time preferences. These, these were not significantly affected by uh, experiment. Similarly, uh, so, so far this was about beliefs and preferences. Uh, then we have uh, about behavior. What is the impact on behavior? We find some impact on savings and credit behavior. In particular, uh, uh, those treated uh, appear to use their savings uh, more frequently, and they are uh, also willing, more willing to uh, borrow in a hypothetical uh, credit uh, exercise. They have higher demand. Uh, they enroll their children uh, more uh, than those who are not treated, and they spend more on, on their kids after screening. Although some of these results uh, uh, disappear or become in, uh, less significant or insig insignificant once we control for uh, multiple testing uh, involved in our uh, exercise. Outline, brief, brief motivation. Uh, now you can leave. Uh, a, bit, a bit of a description of uh, aspirations and uh, uh, the results, the design and results of our field experiment. In this regard, I'll focus on, my report fo focuses on the direct effects of uh, aspiration, uh, although I briefly summarize uh, various effects uh, uh, that we observe in beliefs, preferences, and uh, future-oriented uh, so why, why aspirations? The key question, as I uh, said earlier, is uh, related to the uh, observed underinvestment uh, uh, by the poor. There is now a sufficiently convincing uh, evidence that the poor do not invest as much as uh, uh, they should to, more, to change their uh, uh, economic, their future, even when returns and opportunities uh, are Available. And the uh, question we are uh, going to look at is because the underinvestment under by the poor is a source of persistence in poverty and inequality, is, is it possible to provide some answers and, and in this regard related to 
uh, uh, aspirations. Now, the first, mot the, the, the first con motivation is conceptual. A lot of development uh, theory and practice focuses on what is called opportunities. I don't have to tell you this. Uh, the poor are poor because they lack capital, they, uh, they, uh, there are no markets, they are not educated, uh, and so on and so forth. So focus on opportunities as standard, a standard uh, uh, and deservedly so, and correctly so. But it is incomplete in my view, and the incompleteness emerges in two ways. First of all, uh, even when there are opportunities, you observe that the, the poor do not exploit them. So that should be explained. But the second and perhaps more important uh, uh, aspect is that opportunities are created. Today's developed countries were not created developed. And as you know, a lot of these countries didn't have foreign aid. And also, one can argue, of course, that colonialism helped and stuff like that. But the, the thing is, always individually and collectively, opportunities are created. They do not exist uh, uh, once and for all. So this pr focus on conceptual and practical focus on opportunities is incomplete for these two reasons, and we try to uh, uh, contribute uh, uh, in explaining some of these aspects. Obviously, economists and other social scientists have been working uh, on answering some of these, these questions. A lot of them focus on external circumstances and, uh, as I said, opportunities. Market failures lead to low returns, to investments, therefore people do not invest. For instance, they don't send their kids to school because there is no credit market which allows them to finance expenditures in, in schooling. Or they do not start their businesses again because there's no credit market. There is also some uh, 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 explanation on the basis of information and knowledge and uh, lack of these two in sufficient quantity and again, uh, uh, still focusing on these external circumstances. Egalitarian uh, norms, uh, reducing uh, uh, what ultimately is appropriated by the investor uh, would also, uh, uh, are also identified as a possible expansion, including high taxes. More recently, identity issues and psychological or psychology have uh, come into uh, play and uh, the aspirations framework I uh, talk about is uh, uh, of these second uh, type. In effect, it focuses on the internal logic the poor may have in making uh, decisions and how these external circumstances, including their poverty status, condition that logic. So what are aspirations? Again, uh, uh, there is no, there is no uh, generally accepted definition. We'll use this one. Uh, we, we believe that this is perhaps the best definition. Aspirations are goals or boundary states uh, uh, sought after with respect to uh, a relevant domain of choice. Uh, a lot of familiarity here is in terms of occupational choice and educational uh, uh, targets. A lot of people will express aspirations in terms of what they would like to be. Some of us wanted to be engineers. Economists are considered to be frustrated physicists, for instance, and uh, the implication of that to what they, how they behave and so on. So, uh, Aspirations are goals or boundary states. Uh, in that sense, they are akin to preferences. They are, they are, for me, a type of preferences. And they are about the future, of course. They are different from expectations because mm -hmm. expectations are beliefs. I don't want to, go to engage in this uh, discussion, but I, I argue that uh, aspirations are preferences. Why are they important? One, they are motivators. They condition behavior. Uh, I want to be an engineer, I try hard to, uh, uh, to uh, get. I want to be rich, I do accordingly. Always, it doesn't work always, but that's the idea. They are motivators, and as a result, they uh, uh, influence individual behavior and uh, uh, outcomes. Second, they are not evenly distributed within communities, because different people, different members of the same community have different aspirations. And third, they depend on where we are and they change uh, uh, accordingly. So the specific question I described uh, several uh, times uh, earlier, this requires, first of all, measuring aspirations, which is not straightforward. 
Uh, and then it is important uh, to introduce an exogenous shock, an aspirational shock, because aspirations are obviously endogenous. In order to identify any change in them, it is important to uh, introduce some change from outside, from outside the, the system. And third, uh, uh, I would like to estimate the impact of aspirations, uh, the impact on aspirations uh, and uh, uh, related determinants as well as uh, behavior. So this is the brief description of the design. 64 villages in Ethiopia were randomly selected uh, in a, a particular district. Uh, the size of these villages are comparable. They contain 50 to 100 uh, households. So village size is not particularly uh, a major difference. In each uh, uh, village, 18 households were uh, selected for uh, as treatment, uh, placebo, and control. Uh, six households are exposed to the documentary. And because, as you know, these are rural, as I said, these are rural uh, communities with limited experience to modern media, a placebo effect may take place. And in order to uh, control for the f this event itself, we uh, have a, a, a placebo, uh, uh, which I'll describe very uh, briefly. And finally, there are six households who are not invited to any of these, uh, these uh, uh, treatments, uh, as well as placebo. And both, uh, uh, whenever present, both the head and the spouse are uh, treated uh, uh, accordingly. So the three arms, the treatment, as I said, is exposure to uh, four mini documentaries about people, successful people from Ethiopia, speaking the same language, uh, 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 so that they, the uh, uh, treated people would identify uh, with them. As I said, there is no other intervention. Uh, uh, and for those of you who are uh, keen on uh, these uh, things, they are online. We have examples of these documentaries, as well as the placebo online on, uh, uh, on YouTube. The placebo is, the placebo is uh, a TV show, essentially uh, uh, 15 minute segments of uh, uh, dramatic uh, presentations. Three rounds of data collection, baseline and uh, collection on aspiration right after the screening and uh, finally a follow up six months uh, later. These are the pictures. So we focus on four dimensions uh, of aspirations, although as, as you know, uh, aspirations can be very uh, widespread, multiple, annual income and cash, assets as a measure of uh, essentially durables and standard of living, uh, social status as measured by how many people or what fraction of the, the village seek the advice of the individual on major decisions, and uh, education, specifically aspiration regarding the level of education uh, uh, the oldest child is uh, uh, desired to achieve. We have two questions emphasizing the distinction between aspiration and expectations. The aspiration question focuses on what the person would like to achieve, while the expectation question focuses on what the person thinks will achieve or reach within the next, uh, the 10 years uh, after that. And uh, we construct an index uh, using uh, the level of aspirations reported, the mean of that domain in that village, the standard deviation in the same village, and each is weighted by an individual selected weight. What we did is we gave them uh, uh, 20 pebbles and asked them to uh, uh, allocate it over the four quadrants, uh, uh, each quadrant representing uh, uh, one of these dimensions. So this, show, this attempts to measure the importance they attach to each of them, and that is used as, uh, as well. So this is the standardized aspiration measure we use. Uh, this is a specification, so it's ANOVA, ANCOVA. Uh, uh, so clearly this is uh, the uh, end line measure of the aspiration variable uh, or the uh, expectation variable, the outcome variable. Uh, we, uh, we have, and then this is the treatment, this is the placebo, this is lagged, the outcome variable, and we have uh, controls, village level fixed effects, and individual uh, level uh, fixed effects.
fixed uh, effects or individual errors, sorry. And the uh, key thing is that because a lot of these are uh, uh, measured at the household level, uh, household level crested standard errors are used. I'll report on uh, uh, two. Okay. Uh, so small effects on aspiration immediately observed. Roughly, if you look at this and this, there are about 20% of a standard deviation uh, in each of these, standard deviation of aspiration or standard deviation of expectation. Relatively small but significant impact. If any project can have such an impact, we'd be very, very happy. Uh, it is usually 20% of a standard deviation is usually the uh, minimum detectable uh, effect size project uh, evaluation uh, uses. So treatment increased aspirations right after the screening, as well as expectations uh, significantly. And the specification we have to focus on is this one, where we control for village level effects, lagged outcome, and controls, the, the, the third one. And here also we uh, have uh, seen. Uh, so oh, corresponding to the, f uh, the uh, treatment effect, we don't observe uh, a placebo effect, effect coming from uh, being exposed to uh, the placebo. Six months later, the effect is still there, but it is reduced. It says now three to five percent uh, of standard uh, standard deviation. Still, there is no placebo effect, but there is an interesting hypothesis we tested, and that is. Does the effect after six months statistically differ from the effect right after the treatment or right after the screening? And we could not reject uh, uh, the equality of quality of uh, the two. Well, it cuts both ways. It, it can. Uh, the main thing is that the persistence. It's a further evidence of the persistence of the. Uh, the effect. Now, to conclude, I just summarized some of the uh, other results. So, what we found, as I showed you, is the fact that watching the documentaries uh, improves aspirations compared to control group. And in some cases, compared to the placebo group. But because we did not have a pure control village, or a pure placebo village, uh, it is not possible to uh, uh, strongly uh, establish or strongly and unambiguously compare placebo with uh, uh, the, the treatment. Uh, the treatment group. Even those uh, uh, households in the placebo group had uh, live in the uh, uh, treatment in in a in a, a village where uh, the screening of documentaries happened. Always is this impact is heterogeneous. This is the last slide. <laughs> the impact is heterogeneous and uh, we, test, we test for that and discover that uh, a lot of the impact is actually uh, uh, achieved uh, uh, or, or relates to those with above median uh, aspiration from the beginning. So the impact is, is still uh, is, uh, uh, is not experienced by uh, those who, are, uh, who have very low aspirations to begin with. Uh, this is no surprise for me because they, the treatment is very, very mild. It is a very weak treatment, it's just showing documentaries to uh, people. No change in risk aversion and time preference. This is important because one of the hypotheses one could uh, forward is that, well, people uh, uh, to behave in this way because they are risk averse or they have a, a high uh, discount rate. Uh, uh, and we uh, did not observe such a change. There are some change in locus of control, uh, uh, particularly the uh, uh, lo uh, locus of control in the internal, internal dimension, as you know, the, the, these three divisions, uh, internality, uh, uh, believe in pow uh, uh, powerful others, and believe in chance, and uh, those with that we observe an important improvement, significant improvement in uh, the internal locus of control. And people also 
those who are treated change their uh, perception about the cause of poverty from fatalistic to more individualistic uh, uh, perception. Indiv they uh, 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 attribute poverty a lot more to individual individual uh, causes. In terms of forward-looking behavior, as I said, children's school enrollment increased. Yeah. Spending on s uh, their schooling also increased. Uh, although, as I said, uh, saving and credit effects uh, disappear uh, or stop becoming significant once we account for multiple uh, testing. Finally, we also looked at the possibility of group effects and there is suggestive evidence that uh, these reinforce uh, uh, individual effects, in particular in terms of spending on children's uh, education. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.